Good day, my audience. You're welcome once more to Dr. Fred Academy. Today we shall be looking at structures that are present on the mid-sagittal plane of the canine skull. That is the skull of the dog. We shall be looking at structures in the oral cavity, structures of the nasal cavity, structures in the pharynx, and then the larynx. The oral cavity. The oral cavity is divided into two major parts by the teeth. We have the vestibule of the oral cavity and then the oral cavity proper. The first part, that is the vestibule of the oral cavity, is the little portion of the small space between the lips, that is the upper and the lower lip, and then the teeth. So this space here between the lips and the teeth, incisor teeth, is the vestibule of the oral cavity. The remaining part of the oral cavity is then called the oral cavity proper. This portion contains the tongue. The oral cavity proper has a roof which is formed by the hard palate and then the soft palate. It also has a floor. Now, let's look at the roof of the oral cavity proper. The roof of the oral cavity is formed by the hard palate and this hard palate has structures present on it. And these structures are called the palatine ridges or palatine rugae. This hard palate actually separates the oral cavity from the nasal cavity. The floor of the oral cavity is this point which carries or bears the tongue. The tongue proper, let's look at the tongue. The tongue has two surfaces and then three parts. The two surfaces include the dosal surface and then the ventral surface. This ventral surface of the tongue is held to the floor of the oral cavity by a structure called the lingua frenulum. This is the lingua frenulum or the frenulum lingua. The three parts of the tongue include the apex of the tongue, the body of the tongue, and then the root of the tongue. The root of the tongue is held in place by is held in place by the basohyoid bone. Okay, so the root of the tongue is connected to the basohyoid bone. This is the basohyoid bone. Let's look at the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is divided into two parts, that is the left and the right part, by a cartilaginous structure that is called the nasal septum. This is the nasal septum. Okay. Now, since the left part of this skull have been cut out, let's look at structures present on the right part. Now, these structures are similar to what we have on the left part of the skull. Okay, lifting up the nasal septum, we have structures present in the nasal cavity. And these structures are called the nasal concha or turbinate bones. Okay, these nasal conchas are dosa nasa concha and then the ventra nasa concha we also have the ethmoid conchas so the three of them include once more dosa nasa concha ventra nasa concha and then the ethmoid conchas these conchas are also called turbinate bones now this concha the dorsal and the ventral concha divides the nasal cavity into three uh, major parts these parts are called meatosis Okay, so the, the, the portion or the space between the nasal bone and the dosal nasal concha is called the dosal nasal meatus. The space between the dosal concha and the ventral concha, this is the space, it is called the middle nasal meatus. The space between the ventral concha and the floor of the oral and the floor of the nasal cavity, this is it, between the ventral concha and then the floor of the nasal cavity, the space is called the ventral nasal meatus. Okay, if or when the nasal septum is closed, is put in place, in situ, in its in situ position, there is a common space that exists connecting the three nasal meatuses. That is the dosa nasal meatus, the middle nasal meatus, and the ventral nasal meatus are connected to this common space. So this space between these meatuses or that connect these meatuses with this space just 
beneath the nasal septum is called the common nasal meatus. Okay. Now, going further with the nasal cavity, we have a space just caudal or caudally, going caudally, we have a space that links the nasal cavity to the, to the pharynx. Okay, this space that begins from the point of the soft palate, okay, down to the, to the pharynx proper, is called the nasopharynx. So from this point down to this point is called the nasopharynx or coane, coane or internal nares, internal nares. Okay, we have a similar space in the oral cavity, which also begins from the point of the soft palate down to the pharynx proper. This space here is called the oropharynx. The oropharynx. So the opening from the oral cavity proper into the oropharynx is called the isthmus falchion. The isthmus falchion. Okay. Let's come down to the pharynx proper. The pharynx proper contains the structures that form part of the larynx. For instance, the epiglottis is here, and then the arytenoid cartilage is also here. This is the pharynx proper. This point is the pharynx proper. Also take note that on the roof of the nasopharynx is the opening of the auditory meatus. Okay, just a slight opening into this point, at the, almost at the roof or craniolateral border of the nasopharynx, we have the opening of the, into the eustachian tube or the three meatus. Okay, coming down to the pharynx proper, we have some openings, okay, opening into the, the nasopharynx, we have opening into the oropharynx, we have opening into the the larynx, that is the aditus laryngeus, this is the opening. We also have opening into the esophagus, opening into the esophagus, because the esophagus actually lies on the dosal aspect of the larynx and trachea. So this is the opening into the esophagus. I've also mentioned the opening into the uh, eustachian tube. Okay, now let's talk about the laryngeal cartilages. The laryngeal cartilages has four major uh, cartilages, or four major cartilages form the laryngeal cartilages. The first one is the epiglottis, okay? The second one is the arytenoid cartilage. The third one is the thyroid cartilage. This is the thyroid cartilage. And then the fourth one is the cricoid cartilage. Why these are the trachea cartilages? These are parts or the beginning of the trachea cartilages. Okay, at this point, I would want to stop and then will advise you to uh, subscribe to uh, this channel, Dr. Fred Academy, and uh, don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so you can get subsequent videos. In my next video, I shall be looking at the laryngeal cartilages. I shall be looking at the laryngeal cartilages and the muscles that are connected to the laryngeal cartilages. Thank you for watching. God bless you.